Good morning, adventurers. Morning. From the town of Sibiu in Romania. This town is actually in the region of Transylvania, which maybe you've heard of. It's famous for a couple reasons. It has, first off, this in outstanding natural beauty that we're going to be exploring in our upcoming videos. Yeah. It is also known for the legend of Dracula. Mm. But um, today, we are going to be spending most of our time just trying all the food. Yeah, so if you saw our first video, I believe it was, in Bucharest, uh, we went on a little food excursion. We tried some local dishes, some of the eggplant uh, dips, yeah, it was kind of like an sausages. intro to yeah. Romanian food for us. So it was pretty tame. Today we are going all in. We are trying all sorts of soups and stews and meats and desserts. And it was really hard, you guys. This was one of the hardest uh, food vlogs to plan because there are so many amazing local dishes. And now that we're up in Transylvania, there's even more for us to try. Yeah. I think we got a good sampling, though. I'm very excited. Everything looks amazing. We do not have the greatest weather today, but that's okay. <laughs> We've got our umbrellas that we just bought for about five euro a piece the yeah. other day. It sucks because when we got here, it was so beautiful and sunny and warm. And now all of a sudden the day we decide to go out and film, yeah. it's pretty gross. Classic. But at least it didn't get too cold, so. Yeah, it's really not even raining that heavy, no. so I think we'll be good. We are in the middle of the big square in the historic center. It's called like Piata Mare, which I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's this beautiful square with all these really, really old buildings, really amazing architecture. And uh, you know, you get a lot of tourists here, but it hasn't been that bad. No, because a lot of these town centers can get like insanely overrun yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's been the weekend and it's been really lovely. There's a good mix of people out and about, but mm -hmm. not overwhelming. Yeah, but now we are absolutely starving. We are going to head to our first spot and grab, ugh, and grab a little lunch. So we have arrived at our first place. It is called Krama Sibul Vecchi. Probably not even close. We're gonna let you guys know. We know we're gonna mispronounce a lot of stuff today, but we are going to try our best. Um, some of these things, it's very difficult for us to, to know exactly how to pronounce it. Yeah. But we got a couple beers. We did, okay. we started with beers. Cause they were actually really cheap. These were um, two USD a piece two for 500 milliliter. That's really good. That's one of the and best prices we've found so far. Yeah, and this beer, we, this Ursus, we've been drinking it. It's pretty dang good. It's nice and light and refreshing. We've placed our order. So we're gonna have a table full of dishes here in a second. Oh, I can't wait. We got some. Very interesting things coming, stuff that we've never tried before, so I'm extra excited. This place has a really awesome atmosphere. It's below ground. You can see we have some windows up there with just a, the slightest bit of natural light coming in. And then they have these hard lights right here, so that's why we're kind of like bright and the background is really dark. But it's kind of this old cave and it's, I think, maybe a wine cellar or something like that. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, good. <laughs> Our first dish has arrived and it is called, I believe it's chorba de berta. And we'll put it up on the screen, but it's basically tripe soup. And chorba means a type of sour soup, which we've never had a sour soup, I don't think ever. Um, I read that the sour soups up here are made with like lemons or sauerkraut or some other um, types of acidic uh, ingredients. So I'm really excited. The tripe, you guys know that we aren't huge fans of things like that but people swear by it. They say you're either gonna love it or hate it and everyone up here loves it. So I'm really excited for it. Maybe we'll finally come around and try it. You get this really garlicky smell at first. You can see the big hunks of tripe floating in there. You can see a little bit of pepper. I'm assuming there's there's more veggie stock used in here. But I believe that what happens is they put the tripe in and then they stew it for a long time. And so it should be pretty nice and tender. Sour soup, all right, here we go. Oh, it's so interesting. It's really garlicky, really oily, almost buttery and creamy-like, but you definitely get that acidity. It, it does taste like somebody squeezed a bunch of lemon in there. I'm not sure if that's what they actually use, but that's the, the, the taste it gives off. The tripe is surprisingly not so bad. What did you think about it, babe? The tripe was interesting. It it kind of falls apart in your mouth, but yeah. as I'm sitting here, it kind of leaves this like bitterness yeah, in your tripe, mouth. It's really interesting. Tripe in like, I guess internal organs in general always leaves like an interesting taste, aftertaste for us, which I think is why we probably don't like it so much, but this is maybe the best tripe I've ever had. It's definitely the best tripe I've had, but this yeah. is maybe the third time that I've had it. So. Yeah, <laughs> but I think this, they gave us a huge thing of bread. I think that'll make this so much better, dipping it in there and getting oh, yeah. soaking up all the 
garliciness. Oh yeah. So far so good though. I liked it mm -hmm. a lot. It wasn't bad at all. Mm -hmm. They also gave us this tray of uh, what we believe is sour cream. We got a big green pepper over here and then inside of this this little <laughs> guy here, it's like a, a garlicky I'm not sure exactly what it is. Well, I tried it, you guys. It was, uh, I was not expecting it. it smells garlicky, so I thought it was maybe just garlic paste. I think it's garlic horseradish. Yeah. It was really tangy and really spicy on my tongue. It was crazy. But he said that we're supposed to put these in the soup, so we're not exactly sure, like, how much or how exactly you do it, but, uh... <laughs> I've just kind of been dipping like that. Yeah. <laughs> like so that. I'm sure we're probably doing it wrong, but we're trying. Mm -hmm. Our last two dishes have arrived. This is tokichira. It is a traditional Romanian dish. It's like a stew. It's made from beef and pork and it's in like a uh, tomato sauce. It's served with an egg on top and I think there's some cheese on there and a couple little cheeky vegetables and then it's right in the center there you can see a big wad of polenta. This actually looks really friggin' tasty and I, I ate too much bread. That last soup was so good. I just kept dipping all my bread in there but I still have a bit of an appetite left. So I think I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything in here. Get the egg, get a little bit of polenta, and get a big old hunk of meat. Mm. So I just got a big old chunk of pork in there. And it's friggin' delicious. The sauce down there is really oily, creamy, tomato-y. Um, the egg is kind of running off, dripping into it, and all of the flavors work really well together. The polenta actually has a ton of flavor in it. So my first bite, I got a big old chunk of pork but I just dug into the beef and uh, it is so good. It soaked up all the flavor of the juice below it and it just falls right apart and like there's little pieces of fat in it and everything. Man, it is so good. I am about to try the, I believe it's sarmal. It's these cabbage rolls stuffed with, it should be, I believe, meat and rice in there. So either pork or pork and beef. It comes with, I think it's extra shredded cabbage on the side, a big old hunk of pork, I guess bacon almost, and then a whole side of polenta on its own. I thought it was going to be more like an appetizer, but it's a whole meal. This is amazing. And you can smell, it's kind of like, it smells like sauerkraut. I'm excited because everything I, I read said you have to try these when you come to Romania. That is really interesting. It's almost like you took a stew and shoved it inside sauerkraut. It's really interesting flavors, like the, the sweet and the sour and the savory are all there. And everything in here is really um, like mushy, the, the meat and the rice but the cabbage is still crunchy, which I wasn't expecting. So you get a nice little crunch to it. Very uh, dynamic flavor, I'd say. So we read that Sibiu is actually known as the city of eyeballs because of these unique little windows in the attics that look like eyes watching you and all of these old buildings have them and once we learn that it, it's a little creepy it's pretty interesting but yeah, a little creepy you're standing they're just kind of looking looking at you yeah <laughs> they're always watching also something's going on over here they've oh, they've set up a whole thing a stage and uh, a little roped off area I think that there's um a, a cycling event that they're gonna cycle through here yeah. they've had some epic volleyball tournaments going on in a square right over from here yeah. they've this had an event going on every day that every we've come down here day. it's a happening little city so we have just been walking around and exploring the city a little bit it's a little bit gross and rainy out here but <laughs> we're not gonna let it stop us no. um, but uh, what's really cool about this town is they have a really interesting colorful unique architecture style I think we read it's kind of remnant of like the 12th century so very old architecture style and there's also old towers and old uh, medieval walls yeah. surrounding the city and all kinds of cool stuff it's really neat to see it all mixed in here it really feels like a city ah. <laughs> <laughs> feels like a city like preserved in time <laughs> So we have just been chilling at this restaurant over here, <laughs> drinking a beer, and uh, watching all the cyclists come in, yeah, and win so all we, their awards. Yeah, we caught them coming in and uh, 
we saw the winners on the stage over there and they've kind of broken everything down. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. But now we are headed to our final spot for dinner and dessert. Oh my gosh, we don't usually get dessert, but nope. we're getting it here. The restaurant we've come to is called Krama Sibiana, and we've ordered our first two dishes. What oh are these? Because Allison has looked them up and I have not. <laughs> So I think these ones, we're gonna put the names on the screen because they're rather long and I think I'm gonna butcher them too much. But they're both chorbas, so we know that they're sour soups. So this one, look at this, you guys. I didn't know it was gonna come in a bread. I've seen that sometimes they come in these like bread bowl Dude, type of is things. Is this not the coolest soup presentation is, you've ever seen? This is amazing, yeah. it's like a little bread pot. So I've seen it in the in the US where it comes in a bread bowl, but it's, it's smaller. This is like- Much different than this. Yeah, this is really upright, it's very cool. But so this is a bean soup with some pork in there. And this little guy is another sour soup. It also has pork in it. This one's smoked pork. Uh, it's got potatoes and tarragon in there, which I believe is what you're seeing on the top here. But as you can see, they're both sour, but they're very different looking. Yeah. So I'm very excited to see what these flavors are like. So this one here that I'm gonna try first is a potato, tarragon, and smoked pork all up in there. I'm not even gonna try to, Allison was like, oh, do you wanna try to pronounce the name on camera? I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name because you guys are just gonna laugh at me. Probably for the best. Oh man, oh, it smells so good. You really get a lot of the pork smell. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's supposed to be nice and smoky oh, man, in there. Look at those big old potatoes in there. It looks pretty good. This is perfect now that the day turned all mm -hmm. dark and cold. Ooh. It's not like overwhelming flavor, but the flavors that are in there are really nice. It's got like a subtle, butteriness and of course you can see the little beads of oil on the top so it's very oily and the pork is just falls apart it's deliciously stewed it has the like sour element like the soup earlier today had but it's such a subtleness it just adds like this little flavor to it like if you had made a dish a little bit spicy it just adds that little extra dimension to it but I would not taste it and say oh that's a sour soup you know but it does add like a little bit of like a vinegariness or a sourness in in the, the taste Oh yeah, it's hard to tell I think, but it's still a little smoky in there. Oh, okay. So this actually has pork knuckle in there, which is the meat, so there's a big hunk there. Honestly, it tastes like a tangy minestrone uh, with pork. It's really interesting, it's so good. Those beans are nice and tender. I usually don't love beans, like in a chili, I'd prefer it without beans, but the beans in here, are really nice. It's all so full of flavor, and it's perfect in a bread bowl. That's exactly what you want. It's so rich and hearty, and then with the bread, it's absolutely perfect. You gotta eat the whole bread loaf <laughs> afterwards. Like this? <laughs> You're the classiest date ever. <laughs> Our final main dish arrived, and the translation from what I've gathered means pork feast, this maybe is not the feast we were expecting. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's good, it's, it's but good. we were expecting- uh, Like a whole plate filled <laughs> yeah. with pork and stuff. I think we had but. seen pictures online of uh, much yeah, bigger huge, plates. Yeah, just huge like plates of yeah. butt. There's a lot of fan there. I'm not upset about it. It was really delicious and tender and really flavorful, but just, pretty much the pork flavor. There wasn't much else. I think adding the onions and the polenta will really like make it a full like meal in your mouth, but it's so good. It's really well cooked. I'm very impressed. I was, I was a little skeptical, but Because the it's presentation delicious. leaves a little bit to be desired. Yeah, but it's just like perfectly salty, really nice and almost like creamy in your mouth. It's really good and a little smoky. I think I have constructed the ultimate bite. Mixon's the way to go. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> we've pretty much scraped the last remaining bit from this bread tower that we have over here, but man, it is so good because all the bread has just like soaked into the soup and it really changes the flavor of it. This is just a big hunk of bread, but it's damn good. <laughs> Dessert has come. It's either fried or boiled dough is what we've read with a cheese and a sour jam, more sourness. It looks amazing. It smells so good. It took a quite a while for it to come, maybe 20 minutes or so. I think they made it fresh, but I think the funniest part is they have this knife and fork print on the plate 
with um, I think it's like cinnamon and sugar sprinkled over it. Yeah, which is so weird. So I'm gonna give this a try first, I think. I'm gonna get a big old chunk of this delicious dough. Hmm. <laughs> that was a big bite. Well, it's really good. You guys, let me just say that. But this stuff here, it's definitely like a sour, creamy, cheesy kind of stuff. And then the uh, blackberry jam is adds a little bit of sweetness and deliciousness. And this just tastes like a delicious fried wad of pastry. It's really good. Overall, I think we made the right decision and I'm gonna eat this entire thing. Guys, this is so good. It's definitely, it tastes like an inside out jelly and cream filled donut. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And it's so like, it's a little thick. It's not too airy, which I like. Yeah, it's so a it's little like bit a hearty, cakey in the middle. Yeah, like a hearty donut with all this amazing- The, the like, kind you're gonna feel later. Oh yeah. <laughs> in your hips. So I thought the jam was blackberry, but upon further inspection, we're not exactly sure. There might be a few different types of berries in there. It might be, I don't, it almost I think seems I see like, blueberries in there. Yeah, blueberries, but maybe raspberries because there's some little seeds in there too. Yeah. I don't know, but whatever it is, it's, it's real pretty good. perfect. Mm -hmm. We just got back to our Airbnb, which by the way, we are staying in this amazing place with these Glorious. crazy chandeliers. If you check out our last video, our first video here in Sibiu, you can see our little tour of this. It's pretty awesome. So we're gonna have a link in the description below to this Airbnb and actually a link where you can get a discount off of your first Airbnb. So you get a discount and then we get a little discount if you use that link. But we highly encourage you to use Airbnb. We use it pretty much everywhere we go yeah, because it's I, an amazing service. I was just actually telling up today, I think we have stayed in around 115 Airbnbs since we started traveling. I had no idea it's, it was that much. I didn't know it was over 100. Oh, it's a over lot. 100, yeah, for sure. Maybe We've even, gotta be like power users at this point. I mean, yeah. We know we didn't pronounce everything right, and we know that um, maybe you have a different version of these dishes that you like the most, or a place that you like to go to get these dishes. So if that's the case, just leave a comment below and let us know your favorite place to get them, your favorite versions of the di these dishes, all that stuff, so that we can try them next time we come through Romania and other people watching this video can try it as well. We can't wait for more exploring in Romania, but that is I it can. for today. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.